Remember that the planar graph is a graph that can be drawn in a plane without any edges crossing each other and a plane graph is an example of such a drawing in the plane where we don't have any edge crossing. So here we have an example of plane graph. We have also marked its region as R1, R2, R3 and R4. Next we want to take a look how many vertices and edges these regions will have. We already saw that there are four regions in this example. We see that we have seven vertices, nine edges and four regions. Now you may notice if you take number of vertices minus number of edges plus number of regions you get two. Let's try another example. Uh, let's try another example. This plane graph has seven vertices, eight edges and three regions and again we notice that number of vertices minus number of edges plus number of regions equals to 2. This is not just a coincidence. It holds for every connected plane graph. So the theorem we want to prove. Statement of the theorem is if G is a connected plane graph with n vertices m edges and r regions then n minus m plus r equals to 2. This is a Euler formula. Euler has a lot of formulas for different areas of mathematics. But remember he actually created the area of mathematics known as graph theory. We have seen that the theorem works for these two examples but now we want to figure out how to prove it in general. The proof will use the induction on M, the number of edges. The base case when M equals to zero then g equals to k it is isolated vertex so n equals to one m is zero and number of region is one implies n minus m plus r equals to one minus zero plus one equals to two uh, so base case is done next we make inductive hypothesis suppose the theorem is true for all connected plane graphs with less than or fewer m edges where m is greater than or equals to 1. Next we need to use the inductive hypothesis to show that the theorem will have to hold for any connected plane graph on m edges. Now consider a connected plane graph g on m edges n vertices and r region our proof now divide up into two cases depending on whether note our graph g is a tree remember that a graph is a tree if it is connected and acyclic that means it is connected and has no cycle our first case is to consider if g is a tree then m equals to n minus 1 as we know this result now we know the number of edges we have also notice that there will be exactly one region that's because when we draw a tree having no cycle means that no region is closed off so the only region is the exterior unbounded so in this case n minus m plus r equals to n minus n minus 1 plus 1 equals to 2 so if g is a tree then we have done we know we don't have to work next we look at a case where g is not a tree we already know that if g is a connected graph it is still planar as well and it has n vertices m minus one edges and r minus one region to see why this is let's take look at very small example here if we have plane graph which has few cycles in it so in this case if i highlight a particular cycle and name this as c and next i highlight edge of that cycle and called as e you can clearly see that if you remove that edge you are not going to disconnect that graph also of course the graph stays planar now notice if you remove an edge so number of edges goes down or decrease by one number of vertices remain same but look what happened to number of regions removing edge e means that in this example r2 and r3 joins into one 
region and in general removing an edge of a cycle in a plane graph we will just decrease the number of regions by one thus by the inductive hypothesis the theorem holds for the graph g without e g without e remember g without e is a connected and planar graph and has fewer than m edges and has fewer than m edges so we know that its number of vertices minus number of edges plus number of regions must be 2 that is n minus m minus 1 plus r minus 1 equals to 2 that's again by in by inductive hypothesis but if you simplify that you will see n minus m plus r equals to 2 and therefore by principle of mathematical induction a theorem holds for all values of m greater than or equal to 0 thus we know that a connected plane graph with n vertices m edges and r regions will satisfy the equation n minus m plus r equals to 2 proof is done thank you